subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Christine. Hooray! At Pixie Reef. There's no fucking wind today, so we decided to stop. We're not going anywhere. So, Pixie Reef. I don't know if you can see the clarity of the water. We're gonna go diving and wait for the winds to pick up. Um, so, look at the clarity of the water. Ooh. 60 feet of visibility. So I'm excited to go diving! Yay! Lots and lots of coral reef, aka bombies. Fuck! I don't know if you can see that. This phone doesn't really do zoom. But you can see a coral head sticking out. So that's sort of alarming. But still at Pixie Reef. Gonna do more diving and an underwater photo shoot. Mermaid. So I'm still practicing, but there'll be a better background. Sunset over Cairns? Uh, Fort Douglas. Fort Douglas. How many miles offshore? Uh, 18 miles offshore. We were at what reef? <laughs> exactly, because we've been moving a little bit fast. But look at that mountains, Pratt Reef. So we just anchored because no wind, wind picked up. Um, tonight there's supposed to be lightning storms across the land, so that would be exciting. But look at the sunset. So beautiful and tranquil, except the wind generator in the background. Leaving Pratt Reef October 30th. And look at the mountains over Port Douglas and the sunset. Beautiful and stunning. Approximately five, 25 miles offshore. The winds picked up, so we decided to continue. Awesome, awesome sunset. A lot of times people forget to just enjoy nature and the beautiful free stuff every single day and night. Sunset, sunrise, the moon, the sun, the stars, the clouds. And this is why I love sailing, because you're witnessing it every day, appreciating it, and you're part of the everyday nature. At Otter Reef, it's Friday the 13th, October 13th. So we decided to stop at the, um, not the Outer Reef, the Barrier Reef, there's so many. And after a beautiful snorkel, look at the water. Pretty! Oh, little fishies! Uh-oh! Wrong side. So, it's not all pleasure. So now, Paul wanted to take a nap. But he's... Oh no, babe! You have to be wearing sun protection thingies. I'm only at it for five minutes. Long. Naturist! Um, maintenance footwork. Are you going to give us a little... Dance. 
Up in here. I can't hear the music. Up in here, up in here. I can't hear the music, I can't feel the music. <laughs> um, that's his excuse. <laughs> Only because I can't bloody dance. Yes, that's what I said. This is the entrance to what marina? You look at the map. Oh, they're dredging. Entrance to the marina. Ooh, nice big boat. Fitzroy Island. The sun's coming out a little bit, so we have a nice um, reach. Say hi, Jimmy. Hi. Did you enjoy your weekend? Yep. Coming back from a weekend at Fitzroy Island. Look at how beautiful. I guess the rainy season's coming upon Cairns. Very pretty and misty. Okay, be careful. The sun's bursting out. Our friend on board, he's a natural at going in and out of the boat now. See how he's Holding on to the handrails, and he, of course, he has a life jacket. Beautiful. Fuck. I don't know if you can see that. This phone doesn't really do zoom, but you can see a coral head sticking out. So that's sort of alarming. But still at Pixie Reef. diving and an underwater photo shoot. Mermaid. So I'm still practicing but there'll be a better background. Leaving Pratt Reef October 30th. And look at the mountains. 
over Port Douglas and the sunset. Beautiful and stunning. Approximately five, 25 miles offshore. The winds picked up, so we decided to continue. Awesome, awesome sunset. A lot of times people forget to just enjoy nature and the beautiful free stuff every single day and night. Sunset, sunrise, the moon, the sun, the stars, the clouds. And this is why I love sailing because you're witnessing it every day, appreciating it, and you're part of the everyday nature. Subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to 
Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. This is me here and now, but a lot of the videos you will be seeing is backlogged since Australia, which is maybe three years ago. So I'm maybe two and a half, three years behind. So that's why it, it looks confusing, but if you look at the time frame, I was in Australia three years ago. Then we went to Indonesia. We sailed to Indonesia. We spent six months there and then Paul and I sailed to the Philippines and we just completed one season in the Philippines and we plan on staying another season because it's a great country they speak English it's cheap because we're on a limited budget so hopefully um, my helper can catch up with a lot of the videos and um, do current videos so now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information so this is going to be confusing for you guys so it's going to be like back forth back forth um, past future oh, present past present so, so just walking around a little bit it's muddy muddy Swampy gutter water. This um, almost looks like too developed. But I'm sort of picky. I've seen a lot of waterfalls. Because I'm a spoiled bitch. So the houses. Ooh, cute. Ooh, more benches. Gazebos are cute. Little bridge. Ooh, romantic. I love the stairs and the little huts. It reminds me of Platypus Bush Camp. Romantic. <laughs> um, I see white girls wearing bikini bottoms, so I'm very happy. I won't be the only one wearing like some bloody half G string. Mm, food. I don't make good food videos because I eat so fast. This is jackfruit with the coconut sauce. Um, lechon. That's the cassava with the sugar. Lumpia. Chicken lumpia. Chicken lumpia. Um, vegetables. Mm. Uh, pork. Oh, oh. Lots and lots of rice and chicken. Uh, oh, uh, and macaroni. Very delicious. Another ukai ukai. Baba? Carrying our picnic food. Wow, lots and lots of stuff. I can carry that too. So I ended up wearing this gold dress. 
said the prize winner, but I think it's because nobody could fit it. New Year's Day! It's really fun. Went to a friend's house who got drunk. Are you drunk? Nope. I'm a little drunk. So this is the cassava plant. I just put some sugar in it. Very starchy. I had it in the Caribbean. It's like a root plant. Sort of like a potato. Very good. Mm. Hi. Yay! We made it first. We had uh, stuff to carry. Yeah. <laughs> so out of shape. Look at it. Everyone's resting. Look how pretty the sky is. Subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. The problem with this toilet, it's like infested with mosquitoes. So I get like one bite on my butt and thighs. So, but it's pretty clean. So I've been getting sort of down and depressed being alone on the boat. Um, and I'm supposed to be working on the um, book, I'm, but I'm a huge procrastinator, huge. So that's made me like just been really lazy, not motivated. So I need to get my act together. So I'm gonna collect some bottles for the rainwater. So I'm gonna fill it with rainwater. So since I'm by myself, Paul went back to Australia to sell his house, so he's going to be gone until um, early February. So I've been here by myself, so stuck in the boatyard. So getting really bored, like super bored, and a little bit down and depressed, but I have to keep going. Um, even with Paul being in the boatyard, the best of times, not so great. But um, I have to use this time to work on my book or finish my book, but um, I just get very unmotivated and I do everything but what I should be doing. So that's why I'm not really my own boss. It's sort of like when I was in college. I was a very bad student, so at least I have my Roxy. I'm going to go to the waterfalls tomorrow, so that should be good. Um, 
and hot springs. I like to get away. If I didn't have Roxy, I'll take more trips. I just went to Taiwan for two weeks and that was really good. I couldn't stay longer because of this precious bundle. So tea is um, heating up. Hiking to Montpellier waterfalls. Oh, what are those things on the tree? Oh, eggs. That's interesting. So I'm still in the boatyard. Ooh, a decent amount of water. Um, boatyard. I do dishes out here now with the rainwater. Not so much water, but some. So, that's what it looks like. It's warming because I was see the warm. Hey. I see, yeah, I see some Maybe bubbles. Here. So right there. You're right. Amazing. Wow, look at all that steam. Have fun! I will, thank you! Have fun! Subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spearfishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy 
sailing adventures. Not all because you, I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Christine. It. Roxy just climbed on top of me. She's trying to get my attention. Oh, I think she wants to come out. My food's not red. There's nothing juicy. Oh, okay. Doing <laughs> 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 a weird video of me squatting and peeing. Show my. Showing Um, people come here from Malapascara, you can rent tents and spend a few days on a deserted island. Well, not so deserted. Here's Roxy. Just sitting here drinking um, orange juice and vodka. And guess what I see out the door? Let's see. Who's that over there? Do you see that dog right there? Guess what? It's my Roxy. There we go. So she's gonna want. There she is. There she is. My free spirited Roxy. She's staring back at me. Hi, Roxy. As long as you stay inside, it's okay. Cute. Look at so yeah, she's across. The style of my cooking is more easy, budget conscious, because we live on a boat. Um, I like to go to the supermarket to see what's fresh and what's on special. And then I cook according to what we have. And of course, I love to drink wine when I'm cooking. Scallops. I don't know how fresh it is, but um, let me open this. If I get sick, we know how. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Not super fresh, but I can work with this. And you know, it's a small galley or kitchen. Two pounds or one kilogram of these scallops I got today. So I sort of broke this off. I love to eat and drink. That's my other passion in life. It so happens that my older brother, who I'm really close to, is a chef. He's now executive chef um, at Hanoi House in New York City. And he's a wonderful chef. And you might see some of his stuff on the cooking channel, the website. I'm not really sure which one. So I'm just boiling water for my pasta. And it's just whatever pasta we have on the boat. Cheap um, pasta, I think it's like a dollar or two. Um, because of living on a boat, um, we're not working. And so we're on a budget most of the time. And there's my water for my pasta. And I'm just going to cut this up. I'm a really lazy cook. I do what's easy. And Paul's upstairs working on the mask. So you'll probably hear banging noises. So, ah. so, you know, I just put the garlic in. Usually I like a lot more garlic. And people go, oh, why do you eat garlic? Um, how can you kiss the other person? If the other person eats garlic too, it doesn't matter, does it? It's yummy. I can't date anyone that does not eat garlic. They just don't have any um, good taste in food. Garlic's delicious. It's healthy. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle, and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do, please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. Hello. My name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all, because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. This is me here and now, but a lot of the videos you will be seeing is backlogged since Australia.
Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Christine. Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's weird. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's weird. Which Sunday area? Whitehaven Beach, Southern End. Last full moon we'll have in Australia for us.
No, thank you. 23 miles to go to Magnetic Island. So, my poke bowl that I made earlier, I added uh, poppy seeds, and this is raw tuna, Hawaiian dish. So I'm not going to cook it for pause. We need to learn to eat international food. And my white one. Okay, yeah. Say hi! Paul's gonna go down again. I already went down once. It's um. Eee, scuba gear. Eddie Reef. The Great Barrier Reef. Cloudy today. We're in Fitzroy Island. There's a resort here. Look at beautiful misty mountains again, which I love. Here's JD, and we're fishing. Snorkeling clothes. And here's an island. We're gonna go on shore later. It's a resort. Go snorkeling. Look what I shot. I'm troll. I'm troll -like. And that's his penis, supposedly. Two. Two. Uh, that, that, two is not normal, right? Two dicks, yeah. Oh, I don't it know. Could, it couldn't be that silly with one. Okay, thanks. Sunshine finally! Yesterday, burst through the clouds. The mountains reminds me of French Polynesia and Hawaii. And we're heading to the Great Barrier Reef, Oyster Reef, to do some scuba diving. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, Food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all, because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing.